So let's talk about what's in the box. You're going to have two different handles. A D handle. Notice it looks like a D. And a round hoop. Okay? So those are the first two things that are in your kit. Something that's really important. You need to have a pattern. The other thing that you have is some oval oval. And if you look at this material, you can see that it's oval on one side and oval on the other. That's why it's called oval oval. The next thing we have is some flat oval. And once again, if you look at the material, you see that it is flat on one side and it is oval on the other side. Okay? We have some 5 8 flat because it's flat on both sides, right? And that is going to be your lashing. You also have some number 8 round. And that's going to be the false handle on top. And <clears throat> depending on what color uh, or basket you ordered, you will have some weavers. In this particular case, it's uh, green or celery. Okay, so those are the things that you have in your basket. So when you get them, you can think, oh yeah, I've got that. Now, what do I got here? So let's talk about what tools we need today for the herb drying basket. First off, some good basketry shears. Um, some people prefer to use uh, pruners and they work just as well too, work really good with willow basketry. But for today's project, either one of these and I usually end up using these. This is a heavy duty weave right packing tool. And it's one of those things that you have to have. So, um, the last thing that we have here is a long tapered awl. Now people say, I've got it all. If it doesn't look like an ice pick, which is actually what this is, it's not going to work. So um, you need something long and thin that will go in next to ribs. And you'll see that in a minute. But just to start out here, these are the tools that you need for today's project. Okay? Okay. 